So first tidbit of rumor, or should I say news at this point. So Die Jack is a free man. Free man, free man, free man. Die Jack is out here. Um oh, throughout the week, Die Jack was talking about, you know, ain't nobody hollering him about renewing this contract, what have you. Nothing happened on that note. So my man's out here free. What you gotta say about that, Dallas? So I, I'm kind of like shocked that he's free because Dijak was putting on banger after banger matches in NXT. And um, I don't know, it feels like he got the short end of the stick again because he would he had previously been called up and then they didn't utilize him. He got the uh, Odyssey Jones treatment. And <laughs> my thing is, is Dijak has always had the potential to really show what he can do. You obviously saw in the black and gold era what he could do at NXT. NXT 2.0, he was showing out as the as the grizzled vet, making his name known among the newcomers and the new call-ups. You know, my heart goes out to Dijak because I'm actually a big fan of his work. And I always felt that he was um, undervalued and underappreciated. But I am happy for the fact that he has the creative freedom to go where he wants to go. So... I think we'll see him pop up a lot in some different companies. I don't sit seriously think he'll set his feet or plant his flag in one specific place. Uh, you, you, you'll see him in GCW. You'll see him in Impact. You might see him in AAA. <laughs> might see him in uh, New Japan. Uh, potentially AEW. You know, Forbidden Doors coming up. You know that that is a possibility. Honestly, though, I just feel like Dijak was very undervalued, very underappreciated, and. I can't wait to see what he does next.